All right, welcome back. Jimmy John's is the latest company to announce a data breach. More than 200 stores affected, including two right here in Pittsburgh. The business says stolen information may include card numbers, cardholders' names, verification codes, and expiration dates. So tonight, the company says it is taking steps to make sure this does not happen again. All right, so with today's announcement of yet another company being hacked, are you worried about your information? You are, right? What can you do to make sure everything is safe? Well, we sent out Pittsburgh's Action News for Matt Belanger in search of answers tonight. That's right. He joins us live from one of the Jimmy John stores impacted in South Oakland. Matt. Hey, Wendy and Andrew, this, this was one of the stores where sensitive financial information is put at risk right here on Forbes Avenue, the second location in Pittsburgh that's affected the Jimmy John's on East Carson Street on the south side. And as consumers are being forced to swallow this news of yet another data breach, experts are reminding us it's important not to overreact. And it seems like it's the way of life nowadays. Jimmy John's becomes the latest business to serve up a data breach for its customers. 216 Jimmy John stores were affected between June and early September. The company says information from credit and debit cards swiped in affected stores is now at risk after its processing system was hacked. As consumers, we can't really be obsessed about this. Duquesne University marketing professor Audrey Gusky says it's important to remember just because information is at risk doesn't mean it will lead to actual fraud. And unfortunately, in our society, we're going to see more and more of this. But as consumers, we really don't want to get paranoid about it, and we want to accept the fact that this is the new reality, and you just have to be very careful and very safe. She has three suggestions. Check your accounts daily for unusual charges. Collect your receipts in case you need to dispute a charge. And check your credit report at least once a year. Until you notice fraudulent activity, she says most consumers won't need to close accounts or request new cards. If you're alert, more than likely you'll be fine. Jimmy John's customers we found were taking the news in stride. It doesn't really scare me because um, it's never happened to me, but I. I hear about it a lot. Does it worry you? No, not really. Not anymore. Because they can't steal anything from me. I'm not, I'm not Bill Gates. So. <laughs> a third location affected in our area is the Jimmy John's at Suncrest Town Center in Morgantown, West Virginia. The company is offering credit monitoring for affected customers, and we have more information about that on our website, WTAE.com. We're live in South Oakland. I'm Matt Belanger, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Matthew.